Hey everyone, um, thank you for tuning in. So what we're going to do today is currently we are looking at a our Veeam backup for Microsoft Office 365 and in particular we are running the, this is the um, version 4 of the product, there you go, the latest release prior to today where we had the GA of version 5 which brings us some good stuff around Microsoft Teams an explorer so we can get really granular about recovering that workload as well as some cool stuff around um, proxy deployment as well as the actual the VBO server itself can can live as a no, so proxies and the management server do not need to be joined to a trusted domain anymore which is one of the caveats for previous versions so again this went GA today Expect in a couple of weeks time to see this upgrade uh, option here actually populate with version 5 so either wait for that or go ahead and do it this way which is what we're going to run into today so let's close this down let's gonna go on over so I wrote a blog just about discussing about the Microsoft Teams piece obviously given 2020 and what we've what we've been through um, in terms of the pandemic we've probably heavily relied on Microsoft Teams within our businesses. I know we have definitely at Veeam. Proxy placement and deployment. So again, comes down to scalability enhancements, but also around um, that non-domain joined um, asset. Did, went into a lot more detail about VBO in general. So starting from the from scratch, really. So an overview of what it is. So this is version five. It's been out for best part of four years now um yeah so that demo really touches on that in around 20 odd 20 odd minutes touch on that there's always this free version as well a lot of it professionals have or have their own office 365 account well this gives you the ability to protect up to 10 users within that account and one terabyte of sharepoint data there's no limitations so it is what it is the full version then from a version 5 point of view there's a hefty release notes not as hefty as being back and replication but um a good read if you want to know exactly what we've done and some of those nitty-gritty details around scalability and performance and finally the, the the download where you get it from what link which is where we're going to go next and then just another plug and if you're already here and you're watching this video you're probably already aware that i've done some veeam backup from microsoft office 365 um demo videos in particular around Azure marketplace just it's in it's in the marketplace so you can deploy it there but obviously this is a I think it's now a 40 odd meg download if we go jump over here yeah 48 meg it's still nothing in comparison um, so we've got it downloaded if we go and look in that folder that's just a, a zip file with these four so you've got the actual Veeam Backup for Office 365, you've got the Veeam Explorer for Exchange, SharePoint and Teams. And then if we just go and run this, and we'll do this live, we've not, no smoke and mirrors. So we install that over the top of what we've already got. So all of the configuration. So this is because I'm in a lab and I don't meet the requirements this doesn't stop it working. Um, this is based on CPU memory. It will still install. It's just a warning to say, to say, to basically warn you that you don't have, <laughs> you don't have the relevant system requirements. Still works. There's not much data in my Office 365. Yeah. So once this is finished installing, which won't take long, it's going to stop the services. It's going to restart them, and then we're going to have version five. We'll jump into that. I've already got two organizations added. I have my own Vzilla account, which has one user, me. Um, and then I also have the Aperture Labs, which is our product strategy groups, um, Office 365 account or environment, which is where a lot of my team structure also lives. So, and what we're gonna get into is really just the update, but then also just show what that looks like without making the video too long. So I already had three jobs created in here. I have my 
Aperture Labs, which is just me within Aperture Labs. I have a mail, which is my Vzilla, and then I have Vzilla Office 365, which is everything, just to just to show that granularity. So if we go drill down into that Vzilla, you can see those options about starting those jobs. If we go in and edit that job, we can say Michael Cade, we can exclude, but we don't want to. Under edit here, Yeah, so you'll see our backup repository. So this, this is why we need to update the repository as well. This that's why when I right clicked on the on the organization, I wasn't getting any any of this. So there we go. And now if we go into there and edit that again, let's say we want to add. In fact, let's create a new new job under Aperture Labs, and let's call this um, Microsoft Teams. Let's say we want to add in. Does that let me? Doesn't seem to be that Teams piece. Okay, so we are running that. we need to install the the teams piece as well like i say this is very much live um let's run this to see so all i'm doing here is i'm just running that that um that veeam explorer for teams that you saw in there i actually thought that this was done as part of the the full install but and I believe it will be as part of the update. Ah, yeah, sorry, remember. Okay, so I guess this is important. So as you saw, I already had version four and I am I, I have my existing organizations that I'm already protecting. So one of the things that clearly we have to do is we have to enable the Teams side of being able to actually protect that within the organization. So, and to do that, it's a case of right clicking on that organization. We've already got Exchange Online, SharePoint Online and OneDrive for Business. Now let's tick that Teams. Um, let's hazard a guess of that. Okay, and now this will give us the option to actually take that back up, he says. But I guess that's an important step actually, is making sure that you enable it for the organizations that you wish to protect Teams on. Now, on Vizela, there's only me, so I don't have Teams enabled because I don't particularly talk to myself. Um, now, if we go into an existing job, 
Okay. So it doesn't look like it's there. But if we go and create a new job, and let's call it Microsoft Teams, and we say add, and we say Teams, this is going to give us all of the teams that we have. So let's say AP Labs Technical. Let's protect them. If we want to exclude any of that, what backup repository we wish to use. And yeah, let's run it then. And then pretty much, and I don't think this will take very long at all, but this is going to go and connect to that repository. And really, obviously, I didn't read the the configuration or the install guide. This is literally, a, I downloaded the files and then we got going. So to a point, don't 100% believe that you have to install that Teams Explorer that I did secondly. It may already be installed as part of the, the overall MSI and it just leverages that, that setup file. So maybe you could confirm that in the... I know there's a load of Veeam vanguards that will be watching. So, yeah, if someone confirms that down below in the comments, that would be useful. Um, but, yeah, this was, a, this was me live updating my Veeam backup for Microsoft Office 365 from version 4 to version 5. And, as you can see, we are now successfully backing up our Microsoft Teams. There shouldn't be too much data in there, so we shouldn't, we shouldn't be hanging around too long. But a good point if you're if you're hovering around the ui like i was then um not knowing why teams wasn't available it's because we need to enable it on the organization it's not in a unless this is a greenfield and then actually when we add in that new organization let's just see what that says yeah so if we were going to go and now deploy or add a new organization, then you can see here on that initial configuration, you've got that tick box there. So it's only retrofitting it back into, into those, um, into those organizations. So really specific if you're, if you're upgrading. So if we then want to go and have a look at, um, our Beam Explorer for Microsoft Teams, uh, for Teams item view, search and restore data is requested from the object storage repository. Charges for reading from object storage may be billed by your provider. Okay, so that's a warning just saying that, okay, so if we're going to start searching through all of our Teams data, that, and in this instance, I am backing up directly to object storage that, that came in version 4. But if we drill down here, let's... Uh, just have a look at some of the chat in here. Okay, we can see that Violet Vanguard, Melissa has been putting some content out. If we go and look at files, I'm sure there's probably, in fact, I know that there's files in this cloud field day because this is the same teams that we that we used. So we can, we could either restore that back into our Office 365, we can save it locally, we can send it to a different location via email. All of that good stuff. We can get really granular and restore the whole team. We can do the whole channel, granular down to posts, files, and other tabs that you might have in there. So whether it's a website or links to content. There you go. So Excel spreadsheet to a specific um, SharePoint site, etc. Um, and then we've also got this search function. So if we wanted to, we could go and have a search for anything Cade and start that search. Now remember, if you are leveraging that direct to object storage, that's going to um, it's going to cost ultimately. Uh, let's uh, let's see if oh, spell my name right. start that yeah you get the idea like so in fact let's just go here we know that there is a let's search for vbo that 
that to list the search post fields let's just see So you've got some advanced search criteria here. So we can search based on file or post fields. We can search on different fields so that you could say, okay, it was created by So I don't know if I've actually created anything. I bet I know someone that has. Oh, maybe I'm, oh, maybe that's why. Maybe I need to do it. At, uh, okay, yeah, sorry. I was doing it in a particular team or a channel, but we could get granular on how we, how we do that search. There you go. We're looking at new stuff, the same as what you would be when you, when you restore into, into that as well. Um, yeah, I think that's it. If there's any questions about how that works, how it looks, if you want to see more about what that looks like and actually Maybe there's a, a video demo on actually running through particular restores within Microsoft Teams or any of the other VBO type restore functionality. If you want to see any of that, then drop a drop a comment in the in the in the below the comment section down below, and uh, I'll get round to it. Awesome! Cheers, everyone.